first time. Lamps ablaze. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Not We've time. entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. That's better. Nice teamwork. <laughs> Not <a> scrap. <laughs> time. Show no mercy. Is it? Lend me your strength. Here is thunder. <laughs> just, just a little something. Thank you. Nice teamwork. <laughs> I'm okay. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Conflict is pitiless. I'm on guard. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Here is thunder! <laughs> Time for... Show no mercy! Supplies. Mercy. 
cannot scratch. To guard and defend. Crush them. Just a little something. Thank you. Thank you. Lend me your strength. Here, the thunder. Nap time. Not scratch. Land. Forward. <laughs> Not scratch. Lend me your strength. Conflict is pitiless. Show no mercy. Just a little something. Thank you. Dad? Troublesome. To guard and defend. Crush them. Is that it? Who goes there? Show yourselves! Wait, it's you. Quickly, in here! It's dangerous out- You recognize- Are you not the General's guests? The Master Diviner prophesied your arrival. We were ordered to wait for you when- Yes, the Master Diviner ordered us to remain stationed here and went to scout ahead. They're saying the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have returned. They haven't been seen for an age. It's good that you're here. The Master Diviner said the knights weren't to move out until you arrived. Please wait in the camp. We'll decide on our next steps once the Master Diviner return. That the Cloud Knights received orders not to advance is a bad sign. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I've heard the name before. If memory serves, they're an underground sect of the Abundance that's said to have lain dormant within the Sienjo. The Stellaron has certainly caused Abundance-like abnormalities. Is that what motivated the Disciples to come out of the Shadows? No. The Knight's main force remains intact. Something must have happened. Something we're not aware of. The Master Diviner isn't here. Let Good idea. Why don't you take a look around, benefactors? My feet need a rest.
The Master Diviner has gone ahead with the scouts. Forgive me for being brief. Warfare is a dangerous business. There's no time for idle chat. We took over this place a few hours ago under the Master Diviner's command. It was only afterwards that we learned our enemies were none other than the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, those who worship the plagues author. Everything was going as planned. The sorcerers of the disciples and the fantastic creatures they commanded were no match for us. Then, after a while, our comrades suddenly started to slaughter one another. Curse it. What Sanctus Mechus sorcery did they- The greatest fear of the Sienjo people is succumbing to our Mara-struck form around others. To do so means that we have given up on being human, lost the abomination sleeping in our immortal blood, and violated the rainbows at Mon- What the disciples of Sanctus Medicus did are despicable acts that every Alliance resident detests. I swear to the Arbiter that I will avenge my- Supplies. You want to ask questions? Uh, fine. But I must be present the whole way through. This part needs to- <laughs> Finally, someone to talk to. These Cloud Knights are so serious. That shining seed? <laughs> I've seen it. So beautiful. If you gaze into- Do you still remember- Um. The Master said we could inject new life into the Ambrosial Arbor with it. <laughs> I didn't believe it. We tried many methods, spending multiple lifetimes of short life species. Yet the Arbor... But look upon it now. <laughs> Only the power of an Eon can recreate the miracle. Yes. Yes, the mighty Sanctus Medicus. The Abundance. So, you witnessed it too? The Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. <laughs> Magnificent. In the Befall era, so far in the past that even long-life species cannot recall, Sanctus Medicus the Abundance gifted the Ambrosial Arbor to the Sienjo Lofu. With that sacred tree, humanity realized many miracles. The fallow earth, the western soapberry, the altered flesh. But that devilish archer ruined everything. They twisted right and wrong and erased Sanctus Medicus' achievements. But soon, soon we will return to the glory of the Befall Era. <laughs> You've seen the fantastic creatures that fought with us. They are only minor gifts of the Ambrosial Arbor. Shut it, rambling rodent. The Cloud Knight. What did we do? We cured our kin. <laughs> it must hurt to be trapped in such weak flesh and blood. You scum! If the order allowed, I would cut you down now. Oh, you don't understand. A short life species couldn't understand. Mara struck? Bah! It's a second life gifted by Sanctus Medicus. To eliminate the self, to achieve trend. I see a desire for power in your eyes. Don't listen. His work. We're just having fun, sir. <laughs> Without the blessing of. 
Master Diviner, you're back. I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the disciples is laid bare to me now. Apologies. To avoid dissemination of intelligence, the General and I kept the involvement of the Disciples to ourselves. It is a clandestine organization that seeks to overthrow the Alliance. Before the Stellaron disaster, the Disciples had remained veiled in shadow for years. Their emergence reflects their intricate connection to this calamity. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait, what's all this about a difficult conflict? The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? It would seem you came prepared. <sighs> the first time we met Madame Yukong, she said something like, this is a Sienjo affair and there's no need for the Express to get involved. And now, here we are, running around doing everything. Even the IPC takes it easier on us. Oh, let me guess, what are we up to this time? Could it be heading to the front lines? Leading the Cloud Knight charge? Well, try this on for size. Nope! I can't stand any more of this fighting, so... <sighs> Who said you'd be heading to the battlefield? Jing Yuan's orders. He said that the value of unexpected guests lies in the unexpected. The Cloud Knight's assault was to demonstrate our power to the enemy head on. Now it is time for the unexpected. Please, come with me. After receiving the Ambrosial Arbor, the Alchemy Commission was once the Law Fu's most vital commission. After all, it was they who changed the Sienjo natives into long-life species. The off but in the end, the alchemists grew discontented and began to obsess over the manipulation of life. Research into the arbor poisoned their minds. The more they pursued it, the more they longed for it. Morning bells chime in a dream. Evening mist gathers around me. Do you see that? What huge elixir crucibles. There's still smoke coming out of them. This is where the alchemists practiced the way of immortality in ancient times. They erected elixir crucibles here to absorb the power of the arbor, turning fantasy into reality. Since the smoke from the Crucibles never ceases, this place was named Eve Mist Mansion. An elegant name, but as far as the art of war is concerned, it's a death trap. As long as the Crucibles are lit and the smoke continues to linger, we cannot get any closer. This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became... Indeed. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus infused the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. Moreover, no one can know whether their comrade was about to be stricken with Mara. Is there anything better than fear for destroying the morale? The Cloud Knights' first assault was just a cover. You're using the main army to attract the enemy's attention, while we douse the elixir crucibles and stop the smoke. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus renounced their century of secrecy and chose to reveal themselves, meaning they feel confident of victory. 
But no matter how well prepared they may be, their focus has always been the Cloud Knights. They are completely unaware of your existence and capacity, and in short, cannot be prepared against you. Indeed. This demonic vapor is a weapon targeted against the Cloud Knights. The Ambrosial Arbor is taboo for the Lafu, and the Sienjo Alliance has always been fiercely independent. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus could never have guessed that the General would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short life speak. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by Honix? I wouldn't hazard a guess. All I can say is that the predictions of the Stellaron Hunters were more accurate than mine. The future that Kafka seeks is becoming reality. I do not wish to be their puppet either. In any case, we do not walk alone and unhindered on our paths. Our choices define us and influence others. The duty of the Master Diviner is to bring luck and avoid misfortune. I don't want my choice to plunge the Lafu into a terrible future. To return to the matter at hand, only you can douse the Elixir Crucibles without being harmed by them. What say- Ah, <sighs> fine. I didn't hear a please, but seeing as we do kind of have superpowers around here... Mr. Yang, what do you think? I will come at once when the smoke dissipates. You won't be left to fin- Huh. I feel like even though long-life species get to live forever... They aren't so different from us short-life species when it comes to worries and suffering. You're too close to the crucible! Thank you for the concern, but I'm fine. The general commanded me to stay with you. I dare not go against military orders. Your life is more important, Miss Tingyun. Go back. We can... Seems like the smoke is getting... Lend me your strength! To guard and defend! Crush them! Conflict is pitiless! <laughs> Get. Forward! Lend me your strength! Here, the thunder! Unavoidable. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Lend me your strength. Here, the thunder. No. <laughs>
conflict is pitiless. Show no mercy. Get. Get it. To guard and defend. Crush them. We shall take back what we lost. <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Lance! Forward! Here, the thunder! <laughs> Lend me your strength. Conflict is pitiless. Show no mercy. No. We lost. Yay! We did it! Oh, can't see the smoke anymore. <sighs> Excellent. I'll lead my troops to the rendezvous. You succeeded in dowsing the elixir cauldrons. Unimportant. The inevitable is already upon us. Don Shu. It's you. I have met you before in my capacity as chief alchemist, master de Indeed. The general and I knew that the disciples of Sanctus Medicus must be hiding in the Alchemy Commission. However, without evidence, we couldn't bring charges before- And now, your charges are many. Drawing Stellaron spirits into the Sienjo. Resurrecting the Ambrosial Arbor. Striking down our people with Mara. The Ten Lords Commission will address these transgressions during- Crimes? If I am guilty, then all of our Sienjo ancestors are also guilty. They were the ones who accepted the blessings of the Abundance and turned their descendants into long-life species. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus are only walking on the road our ancestors once took. How is it a crime to... In days of old, the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor enveloped the Sienjo Lafu like a living creature. We controlled the Stellar Seas, and none could stand in our way. Everyone could become celestial, and shift form at will. Divine miracles descended onto all nine Sienjo ships. What a how far the Sienjo has fallen. We consent to be commanded by the devilish archer. Suffer continuously at the hands of the denizens of abundance. And the Ten Lords Commission even forces us to give up our immortality. How pitiful. I do not blame you for your ignorance. We were not born in the era when the Ambrosial Arbor first descended. Nor did we witness its miracles. But now, we now have an opportunity to restore.